starting off this countdown, we have the NSA spy hubs. We all know that the NSA is spying on us, okay? That's old news. I mean, in 2013, former contractor for the CIA, Edward Snowden, revealed that the NSA was collecting phone records of millions of Americans and spying on us through our phone calls. Well, it turns out they have multiple top secret bases. Half of them, we don't even know where they're located. We just know that they're out there. Somewhere. These spy hubs are often windowless skyscrapers. There are some in Atlanta, Dallas, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York City, San Francisco, Seattle, and of course, Washington DC. These buildings though, aren't regular buildings. No, no, of course not. They are highly secure and guarded. In fact, they are built to withstand terrorist attacks, nuclear attacks, and natural disasters. So not only do we not know where they're located, we don't know what they're doing in all of these hubs, besides spying on American citizens. So you better behave. They're watching. Always watching. In our number nine spot, we have Oak Ridge. Okay, so this is a place that was once hidden that the US government didn't want anyone to know about, so whatever, it works. Oak Ridge was a place in 1943 that thousands of workers, soldiers, and scientists were kept in order to work hard on the Manhattan Project, a top secret project for the government that not even the workers knew what the project was about. It was so secret that they weren't allowed to discuss what they were working on with each other, and of course they weren't allowed to share anything with anyone outside of work. They were made to take lie detector tests regularly. About 60,000 acres of land around Oak Ridge was purchased by the government to ensure that they had the required space to reach their goals. Pretty wild. Apparently this was one of the best kept secrets in World War II. In our number 8 spot we have 404. 404 is an abandoned nuclear testing city. Well, largely abandoned. There's still about a thousand people living there. But yes, you heard that right. There is a city in China that was created for the purpose of working on nuclear devices. The government carefully selected people from all walks of life that could contribute to their goal of creating this nuclear device and moved them there. It took four years to load up the city and six years to create the nuclear device successfully, but they did achieve their goal. Around 2006 was when the city slowly became evacuated as there were quote, large scale cave-ins. I guess the houses weren't being kept in good shape, but in any case, fascinating to hear that they did this. In our number seven spot, we have the North Sentinel Island. Okay, this place is such a trip. When I first heard of this island existing, I definitely had a moment where I said out loud, Yo, <laughs> how many things do I not know that I don't know? Also, isn't it just like a trip that there will be things in life that you don't know, that you don't know? That one just makes me wanna say yo every time. <laughs> Uh, my mom loves me. Okay, so back to the reason why I'm yelling so much. There is an island that is home to a tribe called Centelese. And this island is forbidden to everyone. If you go anywhere near the island, the people that are standing guard will either hunt you down with an arrow or kill you if you end up on shore. The people have lived there for over 50,000 years under the protection of the Indian government. The somewhat blurry pictures that have been taken of these people on the beach shows you that they are living in another period than us. It's crazy to think that in some part of this world, technology does not exist. I wonder if we'll ever see anyone escape the island someday. That story would honestly be epic to hear. In our number six spot today, we have the Lascaux Cave. The Lascaux Cave is allegedly a cave filled with absolute treasures. It's a cave that can only be assessed by archaeologists and is completely closed down to the public, but probably for a good reason. The cave contains paintings that are supposedly 17,300 years old. Apparently the Paleolithic paintings are quite vivid and depict stags, cattle, and many animals. I'm sure there's so many places like this in the world that we've never been told about because we're just regular people. I'm just your regular basic gal who loves her Starbucks and reads the Shopaholic series at night. No need to tell me about the secret caves. I may try to go there and do an Instagram shoot. 
I wouldn't actually do this. It, it, this is just my assumption as to what they would think I would do. Although, I feel like I would look cute beside a prehistoric stag painting. In our number five spot, we have the Isa Grand Shrine. In Japan, there is a shrine called the Isa Grand Shrine that is completely blocked off to anyone except royalty. Apparently, it's one of the most expensive shrines in the world, and because it follows Shinto traditions, which go back to the 8th century, the temple is rebuilt every 20 years. Feels a little unresourceful to me, but YOLO. The public is absolutely forbidden to enter its walls. Okay, first off, I bet we're not allowed in because these people are either one, doing some satanic sacrifice type ritual that people today would not be okay with and protest with metaphorical pitchforks, <laughs> or two, or maybe, maybe they are doing something just you know, religious. Or three, they are guarding an entrance to another world like Narnia or some kind of magical dimension or heck, maybe they're just performing some magical things in there. Maybe that's a sanctuary for the lizard people. I could brainstorm forever. <laughs> in our number four spot, we have the Secret Elite Male Only Club. There is a male only club in California called Bohemian Grove that is extremely private and one can only enter if one has been invited. It is extremely secret and some people have tried to expose what happens there over the years, but still, much of what happens is a great mystery. All that is known is that there is a giant owl statue and people have claimed to have seen some kind of ritual there from across the lake. There are allegedly top government officials, politicians, entertainers, and people that are quite established in their field that go there. Some speculate that it's a satanic cult, but there is no proof. I would think that they would want us to believe that perhaps it's just some old men hanging out and bragging about their power, but something tells me that it's probably more than that. But the conspiracy theorists of the world go nuts contemplating what happened happens in this place. In our number three spot, we have Nihau Island. This is another island that is completely forbidden to the public. The island has about 160 inhabitants, and unless you have a relative on the island or you are part of the US Navy, you are not allowed. This island is located near Oahu, a famous Hawaiian island, and the reason it is so heavily protected, well, it is apparently to preserve the environment and wildlife. I wonder if that's the real reason, or perhaps there's something else that they're protecting the world from seeing, like real live fairies or giants. Or maybe that's where the original people from Atlantis actually went instead of Ireland, like some speculate. In our number two spot, we have Area 51. A part of me didn't want to include this one because everyone and their uncle knows about it due to the popular Hollywood films around it. But anyways, it's completely hidden off of Google Maps, but quite frankly, a lot of places are. That could be a whole other video. But also, clearly, the government does not want us to know what's happening inside of it. Area 51 is located in the state of Nevada and is interestingly enough inside a mysterious phenomena that is called the Nevada Triangle. A lot of mysterious planes and people disappear in the Nevada Triangle and I'm convinced it's the fault of the aliens in Area 51. Either that or there's a portal to another world. One of the two. Workers that have worked there have claimed to have worked on elements that don't seem to be from this world and pieces of metal that appear to be out of this world. But in any case, no one can deny that something strange is going on in there that would probably change the world as we know it, which is probably why we don't know about it and they probably ain't filling us in anytime soon. Let's be real. In our number one spot, we have the underground speed testing facilities. There are a lot of hidden underground testing facilities in the world dedicated towards testing speed. Allegedly, at Russia's Ministry of Defense headquarters, they have managed to create a missile that travels at a speed of Mach 7, and some also say Mach 9. Just to give you some perspective as to how fast that is, a plane travels at the speed of less than Mach 1. About Mach 0 0.75 to 0 0.85. So, yeah, that's fast. Apparently, there are plenty of US underground testing facilities that are rumored to have been testing at crazy speeds like this, but of course, this is hidden and not common knowledge to the everyday folk. Also, apparently, a Mach 5 plane is in the works, and that is supposed to get you from New York to LA in 30 minutes. 
Imagine what a Mach 7 plane could do. Hopefully those planes will be effective in our lifetime, but who knows, maybe they already are for the elite. Starting off this countdown, we have Castle Black. Now, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you might be like, whoa, Castle Black, is it named after the headquarters in the show? Well, it actually might be. This base, however, is very different. Basically, Castle Black is an American military base located in Syria. Sadly, it's not a castle at all, so the name is deceiving. But anyways, this base is for special forces operations. In fact, we only found out about it recently, after it was mentioned in documents obtained by The Intercept via the Freedom Information Act. What goes down in there is largely unknown. I actually think it's quite clever to name it after a fictional place from a very popular TV show. Because when I searched it, the first page of sites are all about Game of Thrones. So, in a way, it's hidden on the web. Moving on to number nine, we have Diego Garcia. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. Diego Garcia is a US occupied small island in the Indian Ocean. Technically, it's an overseas territory of Great Britain. In 1966, the people on the island were employed as contract farmers, they were working on coconut plantations. But from 1968 to 1973, the farm workers were kicked off the island by the UK government so that the US slash UK military could have a joint base on the island. So in 1966, the United States was given the rights to use the island if they forgot about the 14 million debt that the UK owed them. Now the island is used by government officials and it's highly, highly guarded. In fact, rumor has it that the island is home to a secret prison. Rumor also has it that the Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 that went missing without a trace actually just landed on this island. Not only that, but apparently rumor has it that this base is used by the CIA to torture prisoners. There's some crazy theories out there. I hope one day we'll find out if any of them are true. Then in 2009, the US military evicted several thousand of the island's local residents. Why they did this is still so top secret. Like they don't know why they got evicted. I really wish we knew. Something fishy is going on over there. Coming in at number eight, we have the Dugway Proving Ground. Located in Utah, the Dugway Proving Ground is the main biological and chemical weapons testing site for the US Army. Like who knows how many and what kinds of dark deadly weapons they are building and testing there. The base also contains top secret US military research documents, which is one of the reasons why the government doesn't want you to know about it. Now, in 1968, the unbelievable happened at the base. On March 13th, a high speed jet sprayed 320 gallons of nerve gas VX around the air in a test. This is so deadly that 10 milligrams can kill people. It'll stop your respiratory muscles from working and then you'll just choke to death. Anyways, it sprayed in an area near a farm. The next day, thousands of sheep were found dead. The government denied that this was their fault, but people aren't buying it. Either way, they paid the rancher who lost a sheep over $300,000 and tried to keep the situation hush hush. So the government definitely doesn't want us to know any of that, so, but I know it and I shared it with you. <laughs> Moving on to number seven, we have Camp Perry. Camp Perry, otherwise called The Farm, is a top secret training facility run by the CIA. The place is used to train CIA officers as well as officers working in the Defense Intelligence Agency. One of the reasons why this place is so secretive is because they don't want the identity of their top secret agents to be leaked. Because then, hello, they wouldn't be secret agents anymore, would they? Now, listen to just how intense this camp is. So former CIA officer Bill Wagner went to a three week interrogation course at the farm in 1970. He revealed that the people learning to be good interrogators practice techniques such as sleep deprivation, mock execution, and would deliberately taint food, which exposes that CIA interrogators use these techniques in real life. Of course, the US government has never formally acknowledged the existence of this camp. 
although many people know that it's real. Coming in at number six, we have Area 51. Of course, I had to put this one on the list. Hello, everyone wants to know what the heck is going on at that top secret base. Like, are the rumors true? Do they really have animals hiding there? Are they conducting unethical tests on humans? Area 51 is home to a number of conspiracy theories because it's so highly protected and secretive. Seriously, people have gotten killed for trying to even get close to the building. This has led a lot of people to believe that the military is up to something. What do you think goes on in Area 51? Let me know in the comments below. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Sherman Kent School for Intelligence Analysis. This is a training school in Reston, Virginia for CIA analysts. The school has been given the nickname The Vault because of how many locks and alarms and guards it has. So basically, the school opened in May of 2000 and it apparently teaches members many important things such as foreign languages, regional studies, satellite image analysis, wiretap transcript analysis, and media report analysis. So basically, everything you think a spy would need to know. This place is basically spy school which is super cool. Now, like all places on this list, this one is also heavily guarded. It is located on the second floor of a five story structure. The glass windows are smoked to prevent people from looking in and spying. The building also contains sensors to prevent eavesdropping from outside. And like I said, it's protected by a number of locks and alarms and surveillance. In our fourth spot, we have Menwith Hill. Menwith Hill is a Royal Air Force base located in the UK. In fact, it is said to be one of the most secretive places in the UK. First off, the place is super odd. Like, there's a bunch of white domes all over the place that look like giant golf balls. Like, I feel like it's just the government's own mini putt or golfing range or something like that, but it's not. This site is said to be the largest electronic monitoring system on the planet. So basically, it's a place where they spy on us, monitoring our every move. The site first opened to spy on the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Since then, we don't know exactly what they're spying on. But it's a vital part of the NSA surveillance network. In 2012, it was believed that the base was involved in a number of drone attacks. However, this has never been confirmed. On top of that, it was revealed that the NSA used the base to, and I quote, aid a significant number of capture kill operations. That is terrifying, wow. Moving on to number three, we have Kapustin Yar. Kapustin Yar is basically Russian's version of Area 51. It is a top secret base created by the USSR. It was used for developing the Soviet space program. But now, rumor has it that it is home to aliens. Apparently, people saw a large red sphere flying in the sky right above this base. Others claim to have seen three-eyed aliens wearing silver overalls there. I mean, hey, at least he's stylish. In fact, most alien sightings in Russia occur near this top secret base. Coincidence? I think not. It could be that aliens are trying to escape from this base or something like that. There's even rumors of this base being used to conduct alien autopsies. It's pretty creepy. I don't even want to know if I want to find out what goes on in there. In our second spot, we have the Secret Super Command Bunker. Apparently, the Pentagon is planning to build a secret command bunker 3,500 feet under Washington, D.C. What's the purpose of this bunker, you ask? Well, just in case of nuclear war, the bunker will keep people safe from the nukes. Apparently, the pandemic shook the U.S. government and now they, and I quote, put plans in place to ensure critical elements of the US government can keep functioning in the midst of an extreme crisis. So they're basically gonna be like sick, every man for themselves, peace out, and then just disappear into this secret bunker. And in our number one spot, we have Porton Down. Close to Stonehenge, there's a place called Porton Down, which is basically a massive experimental testing center. It's known for working on chemical and biological weapons, as well as dealing with dangerous pathogens. The stuff that goes on in there is dark, and I mean dark. 
Starting in 1945, the government began testing nerve gas on real humans. These testings on humans went until 1989. In the end, more than 3,400 people had nerve gas tested on them. In 1953, a man named Ronald Madison died after being subjected to liquid nerve gas. Not only did they lie and say they were no longer testing the gas on humans, but they denied that the nerve gas was the cause of his death. Recently, however, it was discovered that they are now testing this gas and other dangerous weapons on animals. What else goes on in there is unknown. Lego, like, what if they're still running unethical tests on humans? It's crazy. In our number 10 spot, we have Track 61. This is a train that was actually hidden from the public for a very, very long time, as it was a private train for President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Apparently, Franklin didn't want the public to know when he was going to New York, and so he had a private train made for him. Naturally. And of course, his train had to have a private secret station, and that was called Track 61. He couldn't have just stopped in Grand Central Station. He would have been bombarded and spotted in no time. Anyways, apparently the station has long been abandoned, but at one point was a place for wealthy travelers and politicians. Moving on to number nine, we have Bohemian Grove. What happens at the Grove stays at the Grove. I feel like that's the model they go by. The Bohemian Club is this group of rich men who meet in the Bohemian Grove in California every July. Among the attendees are past and present presidents, government members, and business leaders. What goes on there is really unknown. Some say it's like a cult. And rumor has it that they perform live sacrifices there. I don't know if it's humans or animals, but that's a no from me. In 2000, Texas-based filmmaker Alex Jones and his cameraman snuck into the camp and filmed this ceremony called the Cremation of the Care. Sounds creepy and looks creepy. He caught a bunch of individuals wearing cloaks standing over a large fire doing this weird ritual. What these individuals of high power do there is a big mystery. All we know is that they're up to no good. In our eighth spot, we have Area 6. This is a top secret base that we don't know too much about. In fact, it was only discovered in 2016. Someone was on Google Earth when they spotted this weird air base in the Nevada desert. It was unnamed on Google Earth. Obviously, the government didn't want us to find it, but too late for that. After that, it was confirmed that this was a government base. This base is about 12 miles northeast of Area 51. Apparently, in 1945 to 1995, over 1,000 nuclear tests were conducted there. It's also believed to be a site used to test military drones. I mean, you can try researching all about Area 6, but not a lot will come up. That's how secretive this place is. And no matter what online articles say about this place, we will never truly know what goes on behind those closed doors. In our seventh spot today, we have Pine Gap, Australia. Located deep in the Australian outback is Pine Gap, another top secret military base. In fact, this base has been named Australia's Area 51. So this place is used by Australia and the US government and is a satellite surveillance base. The NSA uses the facility to collect internet and telephone records. We found this out back in 2013 when Edward Snowden revealed some highly classified info on the NSA and how they're spying on everyone. However, conspiracy theorists believe that this base is home to one of the most terrifying surveillance systems out there, the Echelon. We don't know for sure though, and we might never know. Moving on to number six, we have S4. Area 51 might not be home to aliens slash UFOs anymore. That's right, you heard me. So theory goes that Area 51 has moved their alien life to a new nearby base. S4. They did this because, hello, everyone believes that Area 51 has aliens and UFOs. And if it's true, they don't want anyone knowing where they're being kept. So this theory surfaced after a lot of strange activity started happening at this base. People claim to have seen UFOs flying around the base and then landing nearby. Honestly, I don't even know what to believe anymore. Also, go ahead and Google it. Go ahead, try to find information about S4. What's out there is very scarce. So the government is doing a good job of keeping this base a secret. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the unnamed base. This is another base discovered by Google Earth. Again, had it not been for Google, this base might have still been a secret. So this base is located in Saudi Arabia and is another base the US government has not recognized yet. It's 
located deep in the Arabian Desert, meaning the government really didn't want us to find it. If that's the case, then they need to have a word with Google Earth because they're just out there exposing them. Now, according to two former American intelligence officers, they thought the base was a drone center. So it could be a base for Predator and Reaper drones. There is an airstrip there, so that does make sense. But still, we don't know for sure. And you need to count how many times I say that in this video because it's true. Like, we don't know and it's freaky. Moving on to number four, we have the Wright Patterson Air Force Base. This base is said to be one of the most mysterious military bases in the US. During the Cold War, this base was where military scientists would reverse engineer Russian aircrafts. Even though the Cold War is over, the base is still in operation. They are now just moving on to other projects. What they're working on now remains a huge mystery. Some say they're building new spy planes there, or are reverse engineering foreign tech. We don't know, but rumor has it that this base is home to a lot of extraterrestrial activity. Conspiracy theorists think that this place is where scientists reverse engineer alien technology. That would be absolutely insane if that's true. So I hope it's not. Coming in at number three, we have Tolicha Peak Electronic Combat Range. Yeah, you heard me correctly. I have never heard of electronic combat until now, but this is the place where pilots get trained to deal with electronic warfare. In case of an attack, they know how to properly respond and fight back. Now, it's unknown how old this base has been around for, but it was found in images from the area dating back to 1984, so maybe around then or the 1970s. But the images were blurry, so they can't verify that for sure. And that's all we know about this base. It's so low key that it's actually nearly impossible to spot on a map. Again, even Google has barely any information out there for me. In our second spot, we have Harvey Point Defense Testing Activity Facility. That was a mouthful. Harvey Point is a military base owned by the Department of Defense. It's located near the city of Hartford in North Carolina. And apparently living near there is an absolute nightmare. People have described black helicopters constantly flying over at night. And they often see buses with blacked out windows traveling there. Not only that, someone said, and I quote, mysterious trucks haul in old limousines and haul out bullet riddled blackened ones. End of quote. Then there are the bombs. Apparently a lot of explosions go off there. Some residents wake up terrified by the noise. In fact, sometimes homes shake so much that they develop cracks. So this area is where they set off powerful explosions to apparently recreate terrorist attacks. They have been known to blow up cars, safes, I mean you get it. Retired Sheriff Julian Broughton said, and I quote, My son works there as security. But he doesn't tell me nothing and I don't ask. Over the years though, it has been revealed that it's also a training facility. Basically spy school for the CIA, FBI and SEALs. And in our number one spot today we have Dulce Base. This one is the creepiest place on this list. So the small town of Dulce in New Mexico is said to have a secret underground facility where they do a number of crazy experiments. The first time someone mentioned this base was back in the 1930s. From there, the room Rumors skyrocketed. Now it's believed that there is a seven story compound beneath the city, and that's where there are human animal hybrids and human alien hybrids. Or that's where humans and aliens work together on mind control experiments. It's crazy. But those are just rumors. We're not even 100% sure if this base even exists or what. But guess what? This place is pretty close to Skinwalker Ranch. Coincidence? I think not. And there have been a number of UFO sightings in that area. Coincidence? I think not. 